They told me for years there was no money in podcasting. Well, they were all wrong. What's the hardest thing to do in sports? Oh, oh, oh boy. Okay, the hardest thing to do in sports. Uh, the hardest thing to do in sports is to hit a baseball. Professionally. So we're going to talk pro- mm. pro- professional sports. I'm going to keep it at professional sports. Really? You think but you you think you think baseball? I do. I do. I, I feel like there's an argument to be made like golf. Yeah. Okay, golf too. Golf too, but the thing about golf, I'll I'll defend baseball, but I want to debunk golf first. <laughs> golf 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 is very much oh, a boy. where you can get better at golf. By practicing golf is a very individual game. So yeah, like a hole in one, very, very difficult. Hitting a golf ball accurately from someone who used to golf, very, very difficult. But the pressure is on you to make sure that you can get better. Whereas baseball, professional baseball, you can spend all the time in the batting cages. Once DeGrom is on that mound, you're not hitting that ball, right? Because you can get better, but so can the pitcher. The slider can break an extra inch and a half, and if if it does, it's gonzo. Forget it. And the average fastball in the MLB, we can probably Google this, I'm going to say is 96 miles per hour, give or take. Average. Average. So you have a split second. That's true. That's true. So it is. It's like, you know, I mean, there's factors with, with golf, but there's not. You're not getting a a ball thrown at you at 100 miles an hour. Yeah. You could take your time, line up your shot. If you got it, you got it. If you don't, you don't. But, you know, you don't know who the pitcher's going to be. Yeah. You know, all these different types of... And you got a split second to make up your mind. Am I going to swing or am I not going to swing? Right? Like, the, right. it's 60... There's a lot of judgment calls that have to be made in, split in real time. In seconds. Like, their hand-eye coordination for baseball players... I know baseball players get a lot of shit for, like, not being athletes. And uh, to some extent, I get it. You know, it's a, it's a skill. It's a game of skill. It's a game of skill. It's you, a game. You can't of... just be athletic and be good at. You know, I mean, yes and no. But I mean, athletes can pretty much do anything. But you know, it's a skill. It's a skill. Hitting a baseball is difficult. It's a skill it's thing. Just, it's it's next to impossible. Like even as a kid, I wasn't good at it. Yeah, right? I, I, had to get, I had to go through three pairs of glasses to find one that would fit right, so I could see the baseball. Funny story. I never hit a baseball in my life. I, my ex-girlfriend was in a softball league and they were short, they were short a man. So she said, can you play? I'm like, I do not want to make your team worse than they already are. You guys have already been losing. Oh God. So I'm like, all right, I'll suit up. Granted, it's softball. It's an underhand throw, but I've never hit a a baseball, softball, a ball, any object with a baseball bat in my life. They toss it up. I, I smack it. (laughs) <laughs> fucking hit it into the fucking clouds. And it turned out I had a natural knack for it. All right. That's yeah. see, that's a story I did not I thought you were gonna say I swung and missed, struck out four times. Oh no, the after ball's that bigger. they were they were like, yo, does you sure this guy hasn't played before? And she's like, No, he played football and they wanted me to be designated hitter. Just for the re- like they were like, forget the person that didn't come today. <laughs> you're designated hitter for the rest of the season. I mean that, that that's fair, right? Because it's softball. Was it was it co ed? Was it all girls? Yeah, it was co ed. It, it was co ed. Okay. I so mean, because the- Mike's girlfriend was on there, so it was guys, it was girls, it was, okay. was co ed. So at least okay, in that case, uh did you even have a glove? Like do you even own a baseball glove? I had to borrow a glove. Okay. Um I had to I was using cleats from when I was like a senior in high school that were falling apart. I had to tape them. They started. They started talking in the middle of one of the softball games. Um, fun experience, but yeah, I clearly wasn't like a softball, baseball player. They just ba- came together. Baseball is my shit. Uh, I love baseball. Um, I've always loved baseball. My dad loves baseball. My family loves baseball. I played baseball from t-ball up until I was fifteen, where I aged out, not good enough to play high school. That's okay. So you can hit a baseball then. Huh? I can. Uh, I can actually. I can't. Like, I got. I got. Actually, actually, I do. I do have a few baseball stories. Um. So story number one, I was a pitcher, uh, as well as a first baseman, as well as a terrible outfielder. I'm not good at baseball. Let me clarify. I'm not good at baseball at all. Uh. But I was nine years old, on the mound, and it was one of those like their throw. It's it's it was one of those off the bat. You have a split second to react, and like. This motherfucker hit the ball so hard right off the bat, right at my face. I just went, ah! And this, like, you know, put, put, put my glove in front of my face and somehow caught it. 
uh, life flashed before my eyes. I didn't like what I saw, so I went home and started playing a trumpet. No. Um, but so I called the ball, and then I'm still on the mound, and I shit you not, the next pitch, so not, you know, like, it's like uh, there's home plate, there's the umpire, there's like the caging where the people sit, and then there's the dugouts. Mm-hmm. So I threw the ball, and it hit the cage where people sit. <laughs> like, right. Like, I was just and my, to the point where, like, the coach was just like, Will, take a breath, like, get a minute, compose yourself, because that was fucking awful. Right? So that's that's story number one. Uh, story number two is probably the proudest moment of my entire life. Uh, 12 years old. We are in the Little League Championship. Uh, last inning, your boy is on the mound. Your boy. Your boy is on your the mound. Boy. Mariano He's Rivera here. He's right outside. Here. And here's the great irony. So I'm a diehard Yankee fan. Okay. Uh, b- grew up in Boston. I know. It was terrible. The irony. But the irony. But my team that year was the Red Sox. I remember getting the phone call from my coach saying, congratulations, Will. You're a Red Sox. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> that sucks. And lo and behold, my number was number 24. And this was back in 2007 when Manny Ramirez was number 24, which my most hated player on the Red Sox by far at that time. Um, so championship game, your boys on the mound, Mariano Rivera, 24 reverse, his number 42. And uh, I get the game-winning strikeout, season-ending strikeout on what should have been ball four, striking out Connor Bolger. So Connor, if you're listening to this, it was ball four, but I win, all right? Fuck, I win. Uh, also, that game, that season, we were, we lost the first game, and then we won every single game the rest of the season. We won 21 straight games, including the playoffs. It was the most unbelievable, incredible season of baseball and, in the highlight of and, my childhood. And what, what league was this? This was Little League. This is Little League. <laughs> this is a Little League story yeah. right here. Yeah, this is Little League. This is Little League. So I was this is Little old. League, bro. So it was, I'm over here thinking like this is like, you know, high school. Oh, no, there this was, is Little League. I'm there was 12. some glory, you know, the, no, the audience, the girls are watching. He said, no, I'm, I'm 12 years old. I'm 12 years old. I mean, I'm, you know. I'm a wee little baby. I'm a wee little pup. Uh, so how it was broken down, it was T-ball, um, six and seven. You have double A, which is eight and nine. Then 10, 11, 12 is either the majors, which you have to try out for, or triple A, which is just defaulted if you suck. So I played triple A. I didn't even bother trying out. I, was like, I just want to play triple A ball. So I played triple A, 10, 11, 12, won a championship at 12. And then that was when the base pass was 60 feet. And then you made you uh, upgrade 13, 14, 15 to what's called the Babe Ruth League, which was the actual standard size of a baseball field. So 90 feet to the bag, uh, 60 feet, six inches from the mound. And then the the outfielders were however long it wanted to be, uh, and then thir- when I was thirteen, I played okay. Fourteen, uh, my game, my first game of the season, I got a single and a walk, uh, and then made like a ground out or whatever. And then I went hitless the rest of the season. I mean, the rest of the season didn't get a single hit, and it was the most demoralizing thing for a fourteen year old. But then 15. And, and I mean, and how many times do you realistically go up a game? Uh, three. So that's nine just. Nah. Three, three a game. Honestly, my dad uh, kept like the schedule and put like our like, one for two, 0 for three, two for four, whatever, mm. like double RBI. He, pretty much, he, he kept track of all our stats. I should go and find that piece of paper if my dad still has it, which he does. I bet he does. And find the O for sh- the O for streak. I went. I still walk. I still got on base. Ah, sh- okay. So but there like, was some times where there was a ball. Or, yeah, yeah, it's you know like four balls is a walk. I gotta explain right. baseball to you, Christian. Come on now. Um, oh no, no. I played softball, man. I know the rules. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> but fifteen when I turned fifteen. Nah, I, I went there. I had to explain everything to me when I when I played. <laughs> so you're not too far off. My last year when I played fifteen though, because I think what it was, uh, I think it was my glasses. When I was 14 years old. Because the next year at 15, I, play, I wore contacts. My controller's broken. Your controller's broken. No, I'm making fun of you. No, my, yeah, my, <laughs> it was my glasses. My, my glasses. It was my glasses. Here's my, my glasses. You know, my control, you know, my, I, I had tape and everything. My, oh, okay. No, this I did. This I'm is not, like I'm straight out of a movie. Yeah, no, straight out of a movie. Um, but but I, played, I played with contacts, and mm. I tore it up. 
I played the best year of baseball I've ever played in my entire like, life. I can see. I like can see I that. batted, I batted over three hundred for the season, which in baseball is phenomenal. You don't do contacts. I've never seen you in in contact. You don't do contacts. No, that's another story. I'll get to that story afterwards. Okay. Um. So save that question. Um. But last game in the playoffs, we're losing. Uh, last inning, let's start make a rally. Like, I'm counting the people. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna be up pretty soon. And I come up, and this is how my career ends. I destroy this. Your, ball. Wait, but before you answer that, your little league, your little league career. Technically, Babe Ruth. So Babe Ruth was 13, 14, 15. But technically, yes, my my child ball. This Babe, is how phenomenal you are of a storyteller <laughs> that you're talking about little league right now, yeah, dude. And you say, now pay attention. This is how my career ends. It is. I had I I aged out, dude. I aged out of baseball and I skilled out of high school. And I'm nowhere good for the minor leagues or the MLB. <laughs> so this is the end of my baseball career here. This is heartbreaking. This is right? where it all. This is where it came to an end. This is. This is. This was the end of a Listen chapter up. in my life. This is fucking important. Don't interrupt me. <laughs> no. So so I'm up, and I just fucking tee off on this ball. Absolutely fucking demolished. And I round first base. I see this kid go like this, and catch it. And as soon as, because this motherfucker was playing deep anyway. Mm. So he just put his, like, fuck left in the sandlot. Please catch it. Please catch it. And he fucked. You're talking about the no look. Yeah. And he caught it. And he caught it. And then I just rounded, because by the time I was running first base, I just dropped my knees and I almost started crying. Because I was like, that's it. And you never came back. My career is over. You said, I'm done. I would have went back, but I couldn't. The town was like, Will, you're legally not allowed to play. Sorry. You're 16 now. You can drive a car and get girls. But. You can't play baseball. What? Yeah. You were 16? I was 15 when this happened. I was 15. Okay. So yeah, sophomore in high school. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So that was that was that was terrible. That was absolutely awful. So yeah, that's that's my baseball story. I'm, so, I'm sorry, man. It was it was regrettably horrible.